Welcome to Number Sense. Do you agree or disagree? Kaylee was asked to pair to graph the ordered pair five comma three and label that point A. Here is her work. Think. Do you agree with Kaylee? Explain your thinking using the words x-axis, y-axis, and coordinates. Give a silent thumbs up when you're ready to share with your group. Pause the video to talk with your group about whether or not you agree or disagree. Unpause when your conversations are over. I would disagree with Kaylee because she used the, or she flipped her Y and uh, coordinates and her X coordinates. She should have moved five units along the right, uh, to the right along the X axis and three units up along the Y axis. All right, now it is time for our mini lesson. So please make sure that you have this page out and in front of you. You are going to add the title, plot the points in your table of contents. You may pause the video, add the title I've highlighted in pink to your table of contents, and then do your notes routine. Unpause the video once everybody has this page out and in front of them and they're on the next open page. All right, so it's time for our mini lesson. Are you ready? We are going to be plotting the points in this table um, given right here, but it looks a little bit different this time. Usually when we've been seeing our points, they've been in ordered pairs, like where we have an X comma Y. But in this case, we just have a table where it's giving us X coordinates and Y coordinates. So we could go ahead and to the side, label the X and Y coordinates in an ordered pair, but we don't have to because they just kind of list them out for us, okay? So our first X coordinate is 25 hundredths. I am always going to start at the origin. That's zero, zero. So I'm gonna start at the origin and I'm gonna move 25 hundredths over, but hold on. Does my graph give me values in the decimals? No, it just gives us whole place or whole values, whole numbers. So I have to figure out where my decimals are and what each of these smaller lines mean, okay? So I notice that this is broken up into four pieces and I know 25 hundredths times four is one whole. So I'm gonna say that each of these is worth 25 hundredths. That's 25 hundredths, this is 50 hundredths, and this is 75 hundredths. And I think that works for everything. So now I can finally start plotting now that I know what the lines are worth, okay? So my X coordinate is 25 hundredths. So I'm going to start at the origin right here. I'm gonna move over 25 hundredths along the X axis. My Y coordinate is 75 hundredths. So I moved over 25 hundredths. I'm gonna move up 75 hundredths and I'm going to plot that point and label it A. Notice how I didn't draw any actual lines on my paper. I just plotted where that point should be with no lines. All I did was trace where I was traveling. Okay, let's do point B. Point B is at X coordinate of one and five tenths. So I am gonna start at my origin and I'm gonna go over one and five tenths. Ooh, and my Y coordinate's going to be two. So I'm gonna travel all the way up to about two. My point should be right about there. Okay, and that is gonna be point B. Oh, this is so far so good. All right, so now we've got point C where we're gonna travel over to the right from the origin, 75 hundredths. And then we're going to go up along the Y axis, two and 25 hundredths. So there's about one, there's about two, two and 25 hundredths would be about there. So I'm gonna plot my point right there. And just to make sure, I'm just gonna, yep, that works. You can also use little dotted lines to make sure you're on the right track, but we're just not gonna draw solid lines. All right, last point we're gonna plot. We're gonna start at the origin. We're gonna move over three and 25 hundredths 
and we're going to move up four. Okay, we're at three and 25 hundredths. Going to go all the way up four. Oh, but actually, you know what? I almost forgot. We had an error. This is not 20 or uh, four right there. Cross off the top number in that uh, coordinate plane. And I want you to make that three and 75 hundredths. And then over on the table, cross off the four and make it three and 75 hundredths. That was an error. Okay, now I'm gonna start it again. I begin at my origin. I go over three and 25 hundredths to about here. And I'm gonna move up to three and 75 hundredths on my Y axis. So that's going up to about there. Oh, I just lost it. Right about there. And label it D. Okay, so now that I've plotted these points, it's time to name the coordinates for each point that was already given. So the first point we need to find is E. Okay, so I'm gonna find E. I see it right here, okay? First, I need to find my X coordinate. What I always do is I just drag down from my point to see where I land on my number line. And I see that I am at zero and five tenths on my X axis. I'm gonna do the same thing for my Y axis. And I see that I'm at about three and five tenths for that one. I'm gonna write three and five tenths, there we go. Now we're on to F. <coughs> gonna do that same process. I put my, my pencil on my point that I'm using. I am at F. I drag my pencil down to see where I am on the X axis. That's three and 25 hundredths. I'm gonna label it three and 25 hundredths. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the Y axis. I'm gonna drag my pencil over. I think that's about one and 75 hundredths. So I'm going to go over in my table and label it one and 75 hundredths. Okay, next up I've got G. I'm gonna put my pen or pencil on G, drag down, that's one and five tenths. Gonna go over to my table and jot that down. Then I've got my Y coordinate for G, which is straight just five tenths. Zero and five tenths, perfect. And lastly, we have H. I'm gonna find H on my table or on my coordinate grid, drag it all the way down. That's one and 75 hundredths for my X uh, coordinate. One and 75 hundredths. Do that weird. Then I've got for my Y coordinate, just a straight up three. Okay, get this copied down. Then with your group, you are going to have about five minutes to complete the remainder of your worksheet together. After the five minutes are over, you are going to fold this up and glue it in like we always do and begin working on Volumeville. Or sorry, not Volumeville. You're going to start working on watching the Brain Pop video posted in Google Classroom. It is going to be at the very top of the uh, classwork. After you watch the brain pop, then you're going to work on your volume bill. Capiche? Capache. Make sure that you are showing integrity and that you are on your very, very, very best behavior for our substitute. Have a great day.